Lewandowski and Schott will be amongst the major contenders here, no doubt. Or can we have an upset? Because neither of them have looked particularly commanding. Pierre Ambro's boss perhaps has looked even more so. And we've got Tuca, who had such a brilliant year last year. There's the full lineup: Giles, Benedetti, Schott, Tuca, Boss, Lewandowski, De Arriba, and Coopers. Oh, Coopers is looking good as well. And the Dutch are in inspired form here. There is Schott, who, of course, has got that brilliant finish. Elliot Giles, a fast up-and-coming talent, the British champion, 22 years of age. Hasn't got the times of these other men yet, though. Giordani Benedetti, ten times the Italian champion, five times indoors, five times out. Here is the defending champion, Adam Schott. And his personal best is 143.30. Then we have the Bosnia and Herzegovina record holder at 142.51 last year when he won the world bronze. Then Pierre Ambrose Boss, the French record holder, fifth and seventh in the last two world championships, former European bronze medalist. Lane six, Marcin Lewandowski, twice fourth in world championship finals and European champion back in 2010. Then Alvaro de Arriba, the Spaniard. He's got a best of 145.93. And Timon Coopers is on the outside. Indoor bronze at the European Championships. And he stepped up now to take his place in this final. The Dutch champion. Giles, Benedetti, Schott, Chuka, Boss, Lewandowski, de Arriba and Coopers. A lot of noise in the stadium, so the starter has asked them to stand up. Played. No false starts. Still a lot of noise. People clapping. I wonder if they're going to get quiet for the start. On the mark. Giles, Benedetti, Schott, Tuka, Boss, Lewandowski, De Arriba, and Coopers. The wins 800 metres. Off they go. And I wonder what sort of race this is going to be. The tall Italian, Benedetti, looking prominent in the, the second lane, and Coopers on the outside. Of course, that's as the stagger unwinds. They'll cut across with uh, Coopers showing ahead at the moment. Right on the inside, Giles of Britain and Benedetti of Italy. The two poles, Lewandowski and Schott, just behind. And interestingly, it's uh, the Dutchman who has taken up the running, and the crowd love that. So, Netherlands from Poland, from Britain. Closely bunched, though, still. Coopers, who likes to front run. This is how he stays out of trouble. The bearded shot now moving up into fourth place. As at the bell, it's Coopers from Lewandowski, Giles and Schott, with Boss beginning to make his presence felt. 52-5 at the bell. And the crowd roaring because they can see Coopers, who's led this race. Lewandowski is behind. Schott is poised, though, in fourth place with a clear run, just behind Giles. Boss just behind Schott. Here comes Schott now up on to challenge Giles. But at the front, it's still Coopers from Lewandowski. Shot and Giles side by side. Shot into third place. Shot coming past Lewandowski. Shot coming past Coopers as well. And it's Adam Shot bidding to retain his title, who's steaming round in his typical fashion. Adam Shot with Lewandowski behind him and Coopers on the inside. Giles on the outside. The new British talent who's running well, but it's Adam Shot way up front. Adam Schott is surely going to hold on to victory here. Schott takes it on the line. Is it going to be a Polish one too? Yes, I think just Lewandowski ahead of Giles. 145-19. And the Poles prominent as their experience paid off there. And it's Adam Schott, uh, Adam Schott with that beard. Congratulated by and with Lewandowski. 
and uh, Lewandowski has indeed now been confirmed, as I thought, as the silver medalist. But what a new talent this British guy, Elliot Giles, is. He's improved his personal best from 147.1 to 145.54 to take the bronze medal ahead of the more experienced Tuca and Boss. Yes, it was a disappointing race from the two men that we were looking at to feature in the medals, as you can... Here we have the final few metres and Tuka just coming through for fourth place, boss weakening, effectively giving in the town. Just looking at when shot hit the front at around the 200 metre mark, boss was far, far back and completely misjudged what was going on at the front of the race. Shot had a clear view and timed his surge to perfection. Boss got caught unawares and paid the price for it here. But as you rightly say also, Elliot Giles improving his personal best by over a second in a championship final. Terrific run. We know a lot about Adam Schott and Marcin Lewandowski, but Elliot Giles, all credit to this man, to be the fastest man in the world last year, Amel Tuka. Gold to Adam Schott, silver to Marcin Lewandowski, and the bronze to Elliot Giles.